What up guys, it's your girl Nora and I'm back again with another video. I am currently running late so this is why it's a like, really improper <laughs> intro. I'm currently in Uber and I'm going to the Globe and Mail today. Today we're going to be going to Afro Chic. So last week we went to Afro Fest Festival and today is going to be Afro Chic. So it's day two of a two day festival or I guess an event. So I'll be taking you guys with me. Stay tuned for some special guests. I'm excited. Again, running late so hope I get there soon. <laughs> Um, so yeah, see you guys soon and take care Guys, I don't know why every time I leave my house my hair is wet So I genuinely don't know how it's gonna turn out by the end of the day So that's always a struggle. I need to like start doing my hair I guess like overnight or something because this is not really working out anymore <laughs> <laughs> Yo, hi, boo -boo. hi, babe. Okay, we out here. Team is already set up. Like I said, they use the shit. <laughs> They're here. We're here. I love them. I love them. Okay, the lighting though. Yes, honey. <laughs> I'm actually heading off to Staples real quick to get another memory card because I can't be bothered if it gets full. I got full last event and I'm also gonna stop by Starbucks to get a little coffee because it's gonna be a long day and as always I barely ate. <laughs> Guys my time management today is horrible like I can't even comment on it it's so bad but anyways the event is looking amazing. People out here in Toronto come through looking so fly and so beautiful. I'm so excited. Uh, I'll keep you guys posted and yeah, hope you guys enjoy. It's a little high. Hi. <laughs> I'm trying the selfie oh. stick right now at Staples. Got a memory card. I think the stick is really high though. But maybe it's not like to capture yourself, it's like to capture like things in Staples. Is it? Okay. Yeah. So clearly, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's not that bad. It's just a really awkward. Okay, I'm gonna try to put it down. Let's see what happens. Hey gosh. You want, me, you want me to close the boxes and stuff? Yeah, sure. I'll just keep it like this in my hand too. Okay. Hey guys, got a little handheld tripod to see how it works, and I like it. Probably gonna return it, but don't tell nobody because. Amazon Prime is so much better. <laughs> okay, y'all. Let's try out this new stick right here. Yo, shout out to anyone who vlogs or makes videos on the go. Like, people literally just stare at you, and it's really uncomfortable because you're just like, I know I look crazy because I'm talking into a camera, but like, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Alright guys, so we're gonna head back. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be super busy. I unfortunately did not get food because I don't know about spending all that money outside. You already know how I am, guys. Save your coins. 
Starbucks is a little bit expensive, so I just had to balance it out. So we're gonna do Starbucks today and yeah. <laughs> Toronto, so give her a warm welcome, guys, and hopefully you'll be back if we treat you good, right? I will, thank you. So we're gonna catch her segment today. She's gonna be speaking at Afro Chic. So stay tuned, guys. There's no point in building wealth yourself if your community is not in that same situation that you're in. It actually really hurts my heart. And I find that pride is what typically keeps a lot of people from reaching out. And I think that's something that really needs to change. Like, if you're working with a professional that really, really cares about you, that cares about your family, they don't really care that your credit is messed up. They don't really care that you're in debt for X amount of dollars. We're here to see you through it. We're here to help guide you. But it's getting that information, getting the support, getting the help that I find that a lot of people are even just in reaching out and getting that information. Uh, but conversations like this is an everyday thing. And I remember having a conversation saying, now I'm saving my money, you know, putting money aside. Okay, you're doing well with it. And it's just in a savings account. Start investing. It doesn't matter if you're making $5, if you're making 30000 Put money aside whether it's a dollar a day, whether it's $5 a day. So lucky and so blessed to be welcoming into this space, thank you, Amoy, Miss Erica Badu. <laughs> right, it feels like we should all stand up. <laughs> vlogging, oh. coming out of the bathroom, guys. <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, Erica Badu is doing her thing, and it's so inspiring, and I hope to meet her, and yeah, capture more for you guys, so stay tuned. <laughs> At this point in my life, is some of the most uh, challenging decisions, some big decisions you have to make in terms of getting to the next step. And um, I guess if I was to ask you, if you can go back to your 26-year-old self and give advice to that, young woman, what advice would you give to your 26 year old self? Um, I would say, Erica, be confident. It's okay to be scared, but be confident. Just go, do it. Be confident, go forward. I would say that. That you know, he got to sit and have some tea with you and got to get some good advice from you. Would you share any of the advice that you gave to Drake? How can I do that? <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> he was a, a very genuine human being and he was in love with, with a, a young woman and he wanted to just share everything that he was feeling, you know, heartfelt. And I listened mostly, and that's what I do for the most part when I talk to him. So. Um, the tea was, I can share that, it was a cinnamon clove tea. <laughs> was that your choice or his choice? Oh, he came to my house. Huh? <laughs> it was one of my truth serums. <laughs> and a couple of other herbs. <laughs> to relax.
Get this on camera, y'all. Get this on camera. Wow. This young man has a tattoo of Erica. That's crazy. Hey. I heard Chloe Beauty is giving away some goodies. I'm out here to cop a few. Thank you so much. So Chloe Beauty just gave us a goodie bag, guys. How relevant. I love it. I don't know what's inside, but I heard some lipstick, some eyeshadows. Love it. All right, guys. The event kind of ended really quickly. It was been great. The views are amazing. It's all over now.